Good morning, everyone, wherever you are at, and evening, if you're watching this later. Um, anyway, I'm Spidey Torch Finn, and welcome back to Doki Doki and Literature Club. Now, last time we played this game, uh, we, uh, forget, uh, we played this yesterday, actually, uh, for two episodes, and we're gonna continue with two more episodes today, so, uh, look forward to two episodes, so, we're gonna get into the game, alright? Spike! Alright. Ready, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> hee. Serious beams at me. It truly has been a while since uh, Sora and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say anything that I'm not, uh, not enjoying it either. Alright, so we're going home. Sora, what happened about what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between your and your next tune? Does that kind of thing happen often? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're, they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted to, you know, wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they they make good friends with you. Phew! I, I, you know, Spike, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think you get along with everyone. That is what makes me the happiest. And I think uh, everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Surya still hasn't caught the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sora. I pat Sora on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her. I get, but it's easy to use Sora as an internal monitor sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Alright. And we're back with our second poem today. Um, I've heard there's a few endings to this game, and I don't know which ending we're going to go for today. Uh, but, you know... Um, let's go with Lucky. Um, bed. Uh, oh, bless. Special. Uh, journey. Sunset. Climax. Corner. Sticky. Brigade. Anime. Fluffy. Play. Candy, misfortune, sunny, frightening, calm, kitty. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we got. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here for the last four, for the last couple of days. Entering a club cl club room usually seen greets me. Hi, Spike. Hi, Sora. Or, yo, Sora. I thought it said hi, sorry. Hi, it's playing tricks on me. Looks like you're uh, in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to the you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing you got you, get you in a good mood. I, but I guess you're always simple as their mood. But anyway, speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you take take a look at your purse, huh? Eh? <laughs> Why all of that, sir? No reason, really. I just want to look at it. Aha. Uh -huh. Sir retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. She turns it upside down, lets the con all the continents spill out of the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Aha, I knew it. I can see them right through you, Sarah. 
That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough had enough money in the first place, you would have bought my saying before coming in the classroom. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan the convention to forget that you spent all your money that so I would lend you some. <coughs> but there's one more thing. You're always hungry. So that leaves uh, all, leaves the all, one option. Well, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve it to feel guilty. Aha! You already sent my giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that you were listening in. Her face is in the book as always. Aha! I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Spike to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in that, sir. <laughs> Besides, you should o only buy what you can respon responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling that machinery little stunt like that, your suffering isn't fair enough for retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I get too absorbed in my book. Ugh. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind. It doesn't help much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no... That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still coming from you. Cereal. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Bendy! What wonderful Bendy back there, the little devil. Or demon, I mean. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Uh, Sora knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, what you wouldn't have come if, I, if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsu into making them. Come on, give me more credits than that, Sura. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just got slapped. Kaya. Out of nowhere, something makes Sarah in the face tumble out on the desk. Ow. What? What was. <laughs> eh? A cookie? Cookies, cookies just don't slap yourself in the face. Sure enough, it's a great cook, giant cookie wrapped in the plastic. Sierra glances around. Is this a miracle? It, it's because I paid my restitution. Reputation. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. Ah ha ha ha! I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes and told me. Worth seeing your reaction, though. Haha. <laughs> nice to. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Sarah hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sarah rapidly tears his mouth and takes a big bite. She's so good. Mm. Suddenly, claps to her hands over her mouth. Ow! I bit my tongue. Yeah, I hate that. Hehe. <laughs> You're going through a lot of just for. Well, going through a lot just one cookie takes a bite of her own cookie ah it's really good Naktusu I'm gonna sneeze can I try jeez beggars can't be choosers but yours is chocolate why do you think I gave you that one fine I still really happy you shared this one with me hee hee soon it gets out uh, see <laughs> Sorry about that. Sneeze there. Suri gets out of her seat and goes behind that and wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie is still in her hand. Then she reached up and nudge Sura off her. Boom! Sura suddenly leans down uh, and takes a bite out of Naku's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Really? You're gonna bite her cookie? Uh, mouthful, sir, tries away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can I tell sir? Eh? Natsu glances around. 
Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. You haven't heard anything about her being late today. Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she has a... I would be surprised. She's prob probably more desirable than that. Uh, desirable than all of us combined. Uh, that's true. Excuse me? Excuse me, the sun when the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried about me or anything. Eh? Monica ch chose the club over her boyfriend, after all. You're so strong, Will. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quickly glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, that my last period today was study hall, and to be honest, I was kind of lost track of time. Aha, uh -huh. that makes sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not have heard it since I was practicing the piano. Piano? I was aware that you played musical as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. Just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn to play the piano. That's so cool! You should play it something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Spike. Monica smiles slightly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I really love the chance to share it once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So did I miss anything, did I? No, not really. Just mostly a, a girl got hit in the face with the cookies. I chose to leave out Sir and Mr. Escobar. I'm sure Nazar will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has settled down. Sir has somehow finished the entire cookie. Yuri's back in her book and Nazar disappears in the closet. Wonder what she's doing in the closet. Spike! Spike! Sir comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from my other classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Be about a car. I'm gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons, markers, glue sticks. Ah, I see. The, the classics. I'm sure we could go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica. We'll be out back soon. Ah, you're going to Spike to get the supplies. There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Ah, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring. Uh, empty classrooms and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, missed that part. It glitched out. Okay. Ready, Spike? Yep, let's go. What is going on with the dinghy? Sorry, Sarah and I exit the club. I followed behind her as I hummed and skips around the hallway. Honestly, I feel like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sir finds that pleasure um, in the simplest thing sometimes. Hey, Sora, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how I would, how you would make an event for the out of literature. <laughs> Monica, I'm all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is gonna take turns on the stage and, and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kinda dull. Spike, you're not thinking about it right away uh, at all. It's just not about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet. The last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, free me, 
string its form clinging its clinging ribs, ca caressing the final joy, this moment between your fing my fingers. But to what ends I have summoned this joy? For now I look in every direction, the one prefers field before me. It's a barren wasteland like that. Sure, uh, how do I put this? I'm sure it just be, but it's impossible for me to take you serious when you talk like that. Eh, you mean it? I work super hard on this, you know? I know, I know. I just meant it's pretty unannoying to contract you to your cute self. Ah, don't say that. It's embarrassing. You don't like being called cute? What? I, but I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sir spins around in the hallway again. Hey Spike, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. Uh, the mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've been Sir like this. But at the end, it had, she hasn't changed one bit. She has nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nervous feeling for me. Ah, as the years went by, I began to, to hold myself in my room once one more and more. So going on adventure with Saren brings me about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the car, straight to this, heads to the straight to the collar that I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Pulls out a box of crayons for the shelf. They're the best brands, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Sir starts pulling off various crowns and box reading the color's name. Alright, that's one down. Uh, don't get distracted. We still need to find a way. I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. And then at least move aside so I can look for the poster pack. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack! Oh! That's gonna hurt. Kaya! Sir bends and smacks her forehead right into a shelf. She falls on the floor and the squirms spill all over her life. Ow, ow, ow! You okay? My forehead! <laughs> My forehead! Good god, that was funny. Such is her forehead. Jeez, Sir. That isn't like you, isn't it? Come on, let's see. Sir is sitting on the floor as I grab the waist, her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your head, Sir. But it hurts. Or just do it for a second. I slowly release the, her hands from her forehead. I gently bust her back and Ow! Sorry. Uh, there's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should I should find some use of ice. Spike, where would you find ice around this time? Ah, I guess a cold drink would do. So you don't have to. I'm what? I'm like a, I'm fine looking like a unicorn. Even watching the pain, sir, it makes a silly joke. Aha, uh -huh, what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay, okay. And the passage, run in the holder to the hallway, locate the nearest ministry. What should I get? It doesn't matter since we use it as an ice pack rather than a drink. Certain so those like, like, I'm sure I purchased that one. I'm going to turn to the class where I left Sora. She put her forehead using it to the box. At least we're uh, in the wrong spots before I spilled them. So right here, I hand the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. And opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sir, what are you doing? As for your <laughs> forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Aha. How did you hit your head? Sir places the bottle above it. It's said it stings. It's just a bear with it. Feels it. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks at you as you clean up most of the crayons. That's good. Hey, Spike. That kind of reminds me of you growing up, doesn't it? Man, what do you mean? Um, you know how we used to play outside all the time, and you, I would always try to keep up with you, and you kind of abuse in some ways. Like, I used to fall behind and had trouble climbing things, and you did. Um, but sometimes I try to do things that I could, and I would get hurt myself. Aww. And I fall and scrape my knee.
and I would fall and scrape myself uh, or get a bump and I would start crying really hard aha and you would rush over as quick as possibly as you could you, you would try really hard to get me to stop crying it was almost like you blamed yourself and was afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out even though it wasn't really your fault you know did I really do that? Yeah, I don't remember. Or you don't remember. Come on, come to think of maybe I do remember a bit. I guess you were always focused on my games and I didn't pay enough attention to you. And so what way it was my fault. Kind of to this time too. I wasn't rushing you out of the closet. You probably wouldn't have hit your head spy. You don't realize it, but you're always thinking about each other, people. Even after the, the, all these years, you're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're a really sweetheart. Don't call me that. I'm not a sweetheart. I'm not a candy. I'm not a candy. Sweethearts are candies. Don't call me that. And I don't really like the, doing this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. <sighs> Sorry, I had to get a drink. Uh, I guess that's what happens um, when you're friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Spike, I'm glad you, there's nothing changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where I'll we'll each up for college at or after that. So I wouldn't be fair to make uh, any promises, but I hope so. It's been a, it's been long already, all right? I can't imagine you ever changing my hopes or up. I'm so happy. Zoya has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside. That's when I see her deep in thought like this. It, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I didn't want her, Monica, you know. Good luck with that. She's gonna uh, see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. So, help oh, her feet. Ah, she clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after you're hurting yourself. Oh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Let's go. I just follow her out of the classroom, uh, plays with their bags, trying to hide the bump without success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Ah, you're back. Good thing timing. I was about to start sharing our poems. Yeah. Sure, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons, and I smacked my forehead on the shelf. Well, anyway, uh, you were able to find uh, everything you needed. Uh huh. I have it right. Eh. Friendly glances over her own stuff. I forgot the stuff. Calm down, Sarah. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper too. Aha! Uh -huh. Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Spike. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I failed to come up with an excuse for Sarah. I made it. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. Ah, okay, okay. Anyway, good work. And I'll stay out watching the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? I guess I, I should grab mine. After making the crayon box, I close it, close it tightly and return to my seat. Alright, who should I show my poem to? I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead. Spike, I really love your poems. I can't believe you're even hiding these from me. Eh, I'm not hiding anything, but your poems are so good. Yesterday and this one, you can't tell you haven't done this before. I mean, you really, you were really the one who feels this way, so, uh, no way. Not even nasty? Well, I guess at least I like least likely to admit how much you like something. But I don't think that. What do you mean? Well, I guess 
to be honest about it, there's lots a lot of poems that you think about you, okay? Wah wah. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just think you're a really impre impressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write a poem I'm like that? I'm stupid lying. But I don't everything adventure. Little things. Like cooking. Let's not talk about that. Hehe. <laughs> so yeah, I guess what I'm saying is I can feel more feelings that we have a weird connection. It's not your fault, okay? I don't know if, if I understand. Sorry. You'll never understand what I'm trying to explain to you, do you, sir? I pet sir as cat. Yeah, hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Maybe. She starts feeling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Spike, will you give me, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Oh, uh, why? Because, well, it's your first time you've written something for me. Hehe, <laughs> I, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah. I broke my pencil. Ah. Oh. Rest in peace, pencil. Rest in peace, pencil. Uh, Surya has been down to pick the pencil she dropped, but in hand surrounding, she bumps right into me. So sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down to pick up the broken pencil. Sarah clutches and knees, they're shaking. I'm just a little clumsy today. Uh huh. Let's sit down, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. And I set up her desk. Anyway, I still have to read your poem. Oh, sorry about that. Forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm pretty sure I'll like it. Beat bottles. Alright. I'm not gonna read all of this, but if you want to, you can read it. So, pause it if you want to read all of this, because I'm not going to read all this, because it's just take too much time. Ah, uh, anyway. Holy crap! Did you write this? Of course I did. I didn't tell you I was going to write the best poem ever. But yeah, I didn't mean to expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my family lately. I see that. Almost kind of creepy. Creepy? No, well, not exactly, but I used to use it to be cheerful. Well, never mind. I think I'm too much hard about it. At this point, it came out so good, you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I meant to express my family this way. It helps me understand my own feelings a lot better. Like, writing is like magic. Friendship is magic. You got pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Ah, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sarah's <laughs> always have it. Heaven's good. So, I'm dropping it like a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing her passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to finish my message. Alright. This episode might be a little bit longer because I'm just gonna keep on recording through all these poems to get them done. Hmm. It's not really worse than yours last one, but I can't really say it's any better. Phew. Phew what? Ah, uh, well anything is a train wreck and I'll let you win, and if I get feeling you're probably most critical. Hey, what makes you- wait a minute, there's a compliment? Ah, uh, glad to see someone recognize my experience. Well, then I'll keep pressing you, baby. <laughs> it is me someday, that's, um... That's the point. Come on, turn the thing that reminds me of yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, we can turn this for long. You might end up the same way. You never struck me as her type. Serious type all of a sudden. Well, I don't think, to be honest, you can ever fulfill something with that like you. It's like she's dragging a dead weight. Oh, that's a little unnecessary, but. Just thinking that you weren't far enough for it for me should probably be let fly away and letting go of a while. You could say each other take each other in their own way. What? Wh whatever. It's like I don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show you my poem here. All right, and here's the poem for you guys to read. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Uh, I hope you didn't think uh, that was the best I could do. No, of course. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes you can explain. Coming into so much, you know, in my life. Anyway, like anyone would agree this poem is an error, but do you even know people like that? Of course. It's like how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. I can be about anything. I wrote this to be easy to write to you. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilt pleasure. Something uh, you're afraid of, but people will find out and make fun of you less or something. But that's just stupid. Who cares someone thinks... Uh, as long as they're not hurting anyone, it'll make you have them happy. I think poems are really linked to respect the liking of weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. That It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, coming and emotion is important, but I want to make people not just feel. Remember that. I'm, I'm a good, right, good one tomorrow, so look forward to it. Alright, let's uh, show Yuri, and then let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Well done, Spike. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Yeah. It's nothing. I'm just happy to inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, and don't worry, it seems like a lot you can't get a poem so perfect. You don't need to be afraid a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like your work, your brain, turning into a bunch of gear. Uh, try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write it down, you see. And that's one true enable a reader to into your mind. It's an intimate exercise. I see. A certain interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I um, ha will have an example if you like to read it, of course. Is this your poem for today? Not and hands me your poem. Alright. I can't read this, her handwriting. I'm sorry. It's just the way that her handwriting is. So, if someone can know what they're saying, just pause it and read if you're able to read this because... I'm kind of, like, confused by it. Please said, I'll pause it. You can pause it if you need to read what's going on. Um, that was a more daring than this one yesterday, so I mean, I can see that. A lot more metaphorical. I don't know as much as I can imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's clear my writing style. Um, with image imagery and comparing images to it. Yeah, I take it if your face value, then I can't figure out what it's, what it's supposed to mean. Well, to, I think it's something different how people can relate to their mind. I want to express how it feels than do it more than my unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things you, I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing them about me. Huh, that's funny. I didn't I didn't I also write something about that. Huh, about something about ridiculous and strange interest. Eh, she did. Yeah. I wasn't talking about how it doesn't matter to you as long as you're not hurting anyone. She's right. I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. It sounds like you two have that in common. Well that's interesting. She seems um uh, that would make would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please say it. Say it. No, I didn't say it. Ah, uh, don't worry. I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing with me. After all, it hasn't been a brace of weirdness, but I would probably hate myself. I might be a wrench in that right now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. Alright, so now we got Monica left. I don't know why I always choose Monica left. It's like I go straight down the list, and like she's always at the. I again, Spike. Uh, how's the writing going? All right, I guess I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. Uh, I'm going. I'm happy to employ yourself. Maybe as soon as you come up with a masterpiece, uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Uh, want me to share what you wrote today? Sure. Here you go. I hand him. My... Hmm. All right. It's pretty good. Makes me think of Sura, like the other one, like you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. 
Why are they saying my, or like comparing her to my, I don't know why. Yeah, probably. I need to spend a lot of time in this club, don't you? Uh, then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not just shy, I'm just cheesing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but you're a nice or so kind of interesting guy, so don't be afraid to get to share them all the time. And you can take, talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not on a poach war or anything, am I? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I'm just getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I didn't really mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. It's, well, alright. But anyway, uh, you wanted to read my poem now? I like this one to help you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors... They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors flashing, expanding, piercing red, green, blue, and endless, uh, endless, uh, archiphony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent, greeting, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, constant, ton, uh, like playing a chalkboard and turning a turntable, like playing a, a vinyl on a piece of crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Load me? What does that have to do with load me? Uh, the last one, huh? Uh -huh. I guess it's the way I'm, I'm sorry if, I, if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never seen before, I guess. It's kind of me, like, playing with my space and my space on the paper. Choosing where I have to space your words and totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The, the, the way I wrote the line shorter... Uh, short makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the noise I see. Still a little hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Uh -huh. Sometimes what a poem is about isn't the right clip. A poem can be a certain physical expression. So, put it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's my writing tip of the day. Facing a difficult decision. When you when it happens, don't forget to save your game. Uh, you never know when you might be changed your mind, or something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Haha, uh -huh. that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That was just creepy. How does she know about saving a game? Do you guys see that? I'm gonna say real quick. Cause that is like really, really interesting. Um I don't know what history is about. Anyway, okay everyone. We're about done with reading each other role, right? I have something extra play today, so if anyone comes to the first question, is this about the festival? Well sorta. Of. Um, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything good for a few days. It just ends up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really know what the last minute of preparation. Oh, don't worry so much. We're getting to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. So, Siri has been working on poster, and I've designed a few pamphlets as well, so we can give them out during the event. Okay, that's great, Mom, well, but that doesn't tell us um, what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Sorry, I thought you heard this already, but we're going to be doing a performance. Performing? Oh, uh, Monica, you're great. We're having put forward for each of us going during this recite event. But the cool part is we're going to let everyone else come with the recite too. Sarah so is putting off all the posters in case that anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Hee hee. Sarah has been coloring the posters before that was to see. Are you kidding, Monica? You didn't even start putting those posters up and you did you? Uh, well, I did. Did you really think this was a bad idea? Well, no. Uh, it's not a bad idea. But it's aside for this, you know. But there's no way I'm going to perform against a bunch of group like people like that. I agree. I could never go with my life like that. Imagine uh, Yuri shades her head in fear. God. No, Sarah. 
I understand where they're coming from. Remember, that's just natural and Harry have never shared their poems with anyone just a couple of days ago. It's a lot I asked for a recite poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess it's kind of overlooked to that. I'm so sorry. But I'm still thinking we should give it our best. We're not the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. We started this event for a good performance. And I'm aspiring to do the same as more people will perform and better be able to show off a little for a club. Yeah. Uh, it's about expressing your feelings, being uh, intimidated with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right, and those are the reasons why we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share your others to inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought here in the first place? I know I, you do. I know we all do. And if you take, if it takes standing in front of people for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Nice years to be in sun, it sort of looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Uh, don't you think this is too much to ask? I mean, Sir and Monica have been trying so hard to get their members and at least this is a couple more of them. Well, maybe, but it looks like Nasha doesn't have any arguments there. Uh, okay, fine. I guess, uh, we'll have to get over it with it. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Yuri. What about you, Yuri? Here it is. You guys see anyone else's face inside. I guess I don't really have a choice. Uh -huh. Thanks, everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. If I want each to choose each of you to choose a poem of yours, we're gonna practice reciting in front of each other. No, no way, Monica, this is too sudden. Well you can recite your poem in front of each uh, club if you do expect it in front of town. No no, don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more, more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook and assumes she has in mind. She's in stays behind Pona. This poem is called The Way the What Fly. Ahem. Finds me Kind of feels the way. More than a friend between her. She knows exactly each line and recites them off the words. This is something done for her. They're simply did by going swim. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sharon means amazed. Yuri seems intense and expression I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes her. The four of us plot. Monica takes it out. That was so good, Monica. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I was hoping for a good example. So, are you ready to go next year? I'll, I'll go next. Uh, what? Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri curtsies the put between her hands and stands up, keeping her head down, walks quietly to the podium. This poem is called uh, Yuri's Answer. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Imagine Crimson Eye. Uh, Yuri shakes and starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she was pregnant and refused to do this. Why is she so imposed with so much effort? As Yuri gets a couple of lines, her uh, voice shakes almost like what happened to Yuri. She absorbed into her books. Her quivering transformation tri symbolizes the fierce poem of the moment. The poem is full of twists and turns as it structures as an easily perfect timing. This must have been a rare glimpse that keeps it. Suddenly she finishes. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back to real and glances that she is bewildered and even herself. I, it's up to me to situate I'm the first person to pull, start the fun. Everyone joins in after we give you a recognition she deserves. It's not that I don't want to apply for it, it's just that I'm cut off guard that we must have forgotten. As we apply it, Yuri holds the pawn to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thanks for sharing. Um, what's that? Down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm going to sort of hops in the chair. This one's called my medal. Ah, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. I giggled. Uh, sorry, he, <laughs> Sarah, a lot harder. How do I get you guys to do it so easily? Ah, uh, that's the thing you are saying to other people. Imagine you are saying in front of me mirror or in your own head. It's your poem that will come. I see the seats. Okay, then. Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels soft. Her voice made her perfect. Perfectly. The poem is aimlessly cheers this uh, is severe sweet, and if we'd read this, I uh, probably wouldn't think of much of it. But hearing it come from Sarah's voice almost gave me a whole new meaning. Maybe this is Sarah's meant when she likes poems. It's like she reached in too deeply, I knew, throughout the turn. Sarah finished in a weed plot. I did it! Good job, Sarah. 
he, he even spiked like that. I guess that's a good sign. Well, this, what does this even mean? It came out of stir nicely. The atmosphere of the palms fits you really nicely, but so as well. Uh, I don't really understand. In other case, palms and well, generally, oh, they might make you feel a little bit more depending on what you're reading. Oh, wow. What do you mean? That's why I've been practicing this thing kind of thing. It's embarrassing you to do it in front of everyone. Ehe. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make everyone pick uh, a poem that challenges you a little bit more. You don't have to time the festival, you know. Okay. And uh, who's next? Necklace? Hmm. Don't make me go before a spike. It's not like I can pair you guys. Might as well let Spike. Might as well let Spike lower everyone stand before I have to do it. Necklace. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. Not. It's not like I have a section that want to read. I'll just go whatever I wrote today. I stand up on the podium. Everyone has their eyes going. It's terrible, awkward. I sat my poem. Since I'm not competitive, mind, it's hard to put energy into it. It's funny I found everyone in the anyway, so I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't be aware of much. It's too much thing ability. It's lack of current writing. That's something improvement over time, you know. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. Just leaves next year. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. You're going, she said some, said some more. This poem's called, it's called, Why are you all looking at me? It's because... Because you're presenting. Huh. Anyway, this poem is called Jump. It takes a short breath. She searches for sun. Her sour attitude disappears a little as she's unconsent her poem and rhythm and bunch. Um, so, well, but the words feel like they're bouncing up and down as if they're giving life to them. Finish them with everyone else's punch. She takes them back. She's like, That wasn't so bad, wasn't it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite in front of people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put whatever face I want to other, to other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise there, too. That wouldn't be another way around for me. Well, it's just how so. Well, I guess in that case, you might try to worry about the festival, right? So thank you for coming to this. Might be hard to put you all in what we're like now. Make sure you pick a poem to get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets and know ahead of what time you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should have already found some other group site instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasant surprised that you put all this effort in the club. Makes me really happy. Ah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. And I know this festival's coming up. And let's try to write poems for us I'll be working it out the only thing I'd like to continue. As for the festival, we'll be continuing your planning tomorrow or you can or Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the singer in Monaco. I'll be asked to do it. But it's for the sake of the club and for the month. And I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sarora? Yep. But you two are always going to like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hehe. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, I suppose to respond to that? It's, it's okay, it's right. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sarah once more. Even though it's been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But Sarah's not fresher than usual. Hey, Sarah. I'm uh, sorry I was spacing out. Oh, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like, how would you like, I mean, uh, so let's just say you're asked to watch home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're putting me on the spot here. Eehee. <laughs> well, I would walk home with Yuri. I would walk home with Sura. Oh, man. I hate choices like this. So we're going to save right here. And, uh, we'll see you guys in episode four. I know episode three was really long, but I hope you guys, uh, um, uh, I hope you guys really like this game. Okay. Um, I hope you guys really like this game, and we'll see you guys in episode four. Uh, sorry if this was long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys in a little bit. We're going to record episode four, so see you guys later. Bye-bye.